Welcome to this edition of the BSP Software Podcasts. I'm Dustin Adkison with BSP Software, and I'll be walking you through a very brief introduction to layout components today. So, layout components were introduced with Cognos 8. And what a layout component is, is it's a named object from any report that can be reused in any other report. The beauty of this is that it makes creation of templates and reuse of things that have been built very easy. So I've built a header in this current report that I'd like to be able to reuse in other reports. It has my company logo. It has a default report expression for the report name, has the report date, and it has a page number. If I run this, we'll see we've got our header layout component, the name of our report, as well as the date and the page number, as well as our logo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the table that this header is in a name. I'm going to name this my standard header, and I'll save this report. Now I'll create a new report, and I'll use a chart. Since the purpose isn't really what type of chart, I'll just choose one. And I'm going to add a layout component to our header section. So I'll go ahead and delete the text that's there. And from my toolbox, I'm going to choose to add a layout component reference. This is one of our insertable objects. What I can do is if there's an existing layout component within the report, I could reuse it within the report. But in this scenario, I'm going to choose from a different location and add from another report. And you can see within my My Folders, I have the header layout component. So I'll open that. And here's my standard header, which we can see is a table. So I'll add that to the top. So the nice thing is that even though this is a different report, I'm able to reuse that object that I created from the original report. I'll go ahead now and save my new report. And I'm going to call this report using a layout component. So what I'll do now is I'm going to reopen the original report, our header layout component. And I'm going to remove the page part of this header and save. If I reopen again my using of the layout component, I can see it's automatically been removed here as well once it's loaded the latest package version information. So this is the default action of a layout component is to automatically update. If I want to change whether or not that updates automatically, I can select my entire layout component. And within the embed option, I've got the option to reference, which will automatically update. Or my other option is copy. If I choose to copy, it won't automatically update. So I'll save this one more time. We'll go back one last time to our original layout component report, where we have our header layout component. And just for fun, I'm going to add that page number back into the report. So I'll go ahead and put in page, and I'll add a report expression with page number. So I'll save this one last time. Reopen my use of that layout component. And we'll see that this time, it's not going to automatically update because we created a copy rather than a reference back to it. We still do have the option to, uh, to automatically update. And we can do that by highlighting and choosing to change it back to a reference. Or by going to my Tools menu to my Layout Component Cache and choosing to update all component copies. And you can see that it's automatically added that page number back in the background. So this was a brief introduction to layout components. These are very underused right now within Cognos, but these came out in Cognos 8. 
And they're really a very powerful way to make use of the things that you're building that are repeatable within your Cognos environment. Thank you for allowing me to show you this. And if you have any questions, please reach out to anyone at Bright Star Partners or BSP Software.